Good afternoon traders and welcome to Trading Wave uh, Weekly Outlook where we'll be looking at the instruments. How did they perform in the week and what do we expect uh, going uh, forward? Alright guys, just a few announcements before we can uh, begin. Right, so please do take note, this is going to be our last uh, weekly outlook for this uh, year uh, and we would like to thank everybody that has uh, participated and contributed in making uh, or in growing uh, trading uh, waves. We really appreciate you, uh, we really appreciate you guys and uh, we will see you guys in the next uh, year. Please do continue uh, to support us uh, by uh, obviously subscribing to our YouTube channel and also making sure that those bell notifications are always turned on just in case if we release some free content and you are able to receive those uh, notifications. So we'd like to thank those that have decided to join us and become uh, our members. And uh, obviously those who are still thinking about uh, doing so, maybe the next few uh, charts that I'm going to be showing you, they will convince you that you jump in into our discord a uh, group all right so guys if you wish to contact us you can always go to our youtube uh, page which is a uh, trading uh, wave so especially on the videos that we release uh, on the weekends uh, so please uh, when you click on those one you are going to see our contact details there that will be our email address and also our contact numbers your whatsapp and also telegram that you can reach us out there we've also got our social media links there where you can follow us and we've got a free telegram channel that you might want to join us we do some post some uh, charts there uh, now and then so you might want to be part of uh, that all right, so guys, we've got quite a few uh, charts to look at. So uh, let's get started there and let's have a look. How did the markets perform in the past uh, week and what do we expect uh, going uh, forward? All right, so starting with the pound US dollar here, yeah, I've showed you uh, uh, not the previous week. We did not have the surge in previous week. That other week, I've showed you how we have been able to uh, trade pound JPY, uh, pound US dollar rather, from around these levels in the blue box, and we've had this move to the upside uh, here. Now we've seen another pullback that we saw on a pound USD, and then it fell right into the area of a blue box. So now bear in mind we were just adding from the running position already, and you can see that this has traded higher here, about uh, 269 uh, pips move. I'm referring to this uh, trade here from here. I'm not referring to this one. It went about six, uh, 700 something pips move to the upside, but just the recent one here, it made about 269 pips before it pulled back a uh, year. Obviously against this swing low here we will see we will be expecting that this might still continue with that move to the up uh, side right so let's have a look at your new zealand us dollar here the very nice one uh, here if you remember very well uh I've been showing you the chart in the past few weeks that how we forecasted this that it was going to drop from here and make this move to the upside uh, here now we had a uh, year a cpi and i showed you how we traded this before there was a cpi fundamentals a uh, year we got this move to the upside which almost made about 300 something uh, pips now another opportunity did represent itself again we were simply looking for this three wave move structure to come into the blue box and we wanted to buy this uh, here and guess what? This was the FOMC that we recently had, uh, I think it was uh, sometime last week, there is an FOMC here, and you see that we take that blue box in there, and eventually we made this move to the upside yum. Now this has moved about 160 pips uh, move to the upside. We did not care much that we had some fundamentals here yeah, because we know that the fundamental most of the time they are there to complete the structure or to complete uh, the move. So we got this one, hit the blue box here yeah, and it started uh, to give us this move to the upside. Already 160 pips move that we've seen to the upside on your New Zealand US uh, dollar. US dollar chief again here I've been showing you how we focused this from around these highs here that we expected a drop and I showed you uh, the, that other week that we after we focused we saw this trade set up so we traded this year about 380 to 400 pips moved to the downside and then uh, last week uh, yeah, again we saw another opportunity represented itself that we were looking at this to get into the blue box here and we're also looking for a short move to the downside uh, here now look at this uh, yeah this has traded lower here, about 184 uh, pips. Now, what we do is with this blue box strategy here, we are just here to write that. Do is we anticipate or uh, we have 
for example we know that this is our wave b here yeah? we know that our wave c let's say for example your wave a was about 900 pips or a thousand pips then once we get wave b we know that our wave c needs to be at least at 900 to a thousand pips so what we do in that case that once we get this pull back here yeah, we look to write the trend at least until we see those five waves move to the downside so uh, that's why most of the time you'll see me coming in here and until we are still holding on to this uh, yes simply because we want to see this five wave move you see the five wave move in green we want to see that gets uh, completed once we see the five wave move that is completing your wave c that's when we start uh, to uh, close our position and start to expect the other way around so other than that, US dollar chief has already moved 184 pips uh, from the second position. First position, this is over 400 pips move uh, to the downside uh, then. Now, US dollar, uh, the cared. so Audi cared have been showing you guys week in, week out that how are we expecting to see a very big move to the up uh, side? And obviously, with that in mind, all what we're looking for is the buying opportunities here. Yeah. For example, I've showed you this one here, how we traded this one to the upside uh, here, that made about uh, 270 something pips uh, to about 300 pips and move to the upside here. Yeah. Now again, we saw another opportunity here that represents itself. A three-way move strata here went into the blue box. So all what we are looking for is for a move to the up side. Now look at this. How this has played out here. Now we've seen this making a move to the upside about 160 pips a move here. Now we are in the festive uh, season here so the market tends to be a bit choppy at this time of uh, the year so we know that uh, we've got like major levels or we need to take profit because we know that at this time of the year we're gonna have a very sideways market here now if you look at this year it has made a move to the upside about 160 pips and then again it has given up this back here now with that in mind we know definitely that we've made this as a three wave move we made a three wave move to the upside here this is very likely that it might do this before it makes the major move to the upside uh, here. So that is very expected. But for now, we've been able to bang about 160 pips move to the upside on your Audi uh, cat. Uh, Platinum, I've showed you this one uh, here a couple of times that how we have made this V-shape pattern here. And then after a V-shape pattern, I always expect to see a pullback. Now we saw this year 335 structure into the blue box and we wanted to see that move to the upside to the Platinum. Now look at this year. Platinum has already made a nice move to the upside about 701 uh, points and we still expect that this is going to make a move to the upside uh, here. Again, uh, Audi JPY, uh, this is practical trading. Eh? So I want to show you, I don't want to come here and then just discuss all those trades that played out. I'm going to discuss those because we are humans. Uh, we are trying to uh, see uh, the future of uh, the market. Uh, yeah, so we are not uh, those AIs or EAs uh, that trade the market. So Audi JPY was one of those that uh, did not uh, play out. We were anticipating this three-wave move structure here yeah, and we were looking for this move to the upside in this era of a blue box here. Yeah. And then you'll see that uh, this one here yeah, did not play as expected here. Yeah. It eventually just dropped. I think it was even less than a uh, like few hours a year. This just invalidated our trade uh, setup here. So we're down 80 pips a day on your Audi uh, JPY. So Audi Chief, that was the next one here. We're simply looking at this one to complete a three wave move structure here. And we wanted this to check the blue box and looking for a move to the upside. Now you see that this has played exactly here. We have been able to get about 164 points move to the peeps rather uh, to the upside yeah but again this has just made a three wave move yeah so we are very well aware that there could be something that might do this but for now we are still expecting that this is going to continue with the move to the upside already 164 pips move to the upside that we've been able to uh, get uh, there natural gas we're simply looking for this one here to be a three wave move structure yeah we wanted this to make a move to the upside uh, from that era of a blue box unfortunately again this just uh, traded more lower yeah and it just invalidated this uh, year structurally still looks good for a move to the upside but it is just that it has invalidated our trade now we're simply looking to see another opportunity that we are going to uh, buy natural gas to the upside but there was one of those that invalidated our uh, trade setup now look at euro here i've showed you that euro is an alternative which might even straight to the downside we're simply looking at this five wave move to our downside a simply textbook setup 333 three, three structure here WXY. We wanted this in a blue box and wanted to see that bearish move to the downside. In less than 24 hours, just a few hours here, this made a very nice move to the downside. 
about 193 pips move a year. We obviously, we still expect to see more bearish move to a downside, but this was just a very nice one here in less than 24 hours. So there a very big move uh, to the downside. The same thing applies with your uh, pound cat. I've showed you pound cat before, how we got a trade invalidated after we got this move to the upside uh, Yeah, We were wanting to see this here to drop from the blue box, but it eventually uh, invalidated the blue box a year. But the structurally, this still looked good. Like I mentioned it, I'm going to still look for a move that is going to call this one to drop a year. Now, I've look at this one here. Obviously, this could just be an ABC here. Then this made a pull back and then just stop in an ABC. I'm very well aware of that. And then maybe we get a move to the upside. But for now, what we've looked for was this to have made a, a three wave move structure here. We simply wanted this to drop to the downside after uh, uh, this uh, leading diagonal here. We're looking at this one, two three four year or uh, five year and then obviously against this swing high this was a very this was my favorite uh, trade setup here because it was a very 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 slow stop loss uh, trade uh, here and you'll see that even like, again in less than 24 hours here or like a few hours here this gave us about 203 pips move to the downside and we still expect that this is going to drop we are already running this already in a risk-free position here we are still expecting that this is going to drop to the down uh, side. now I'm Trying to show you the practical uh, trading uh, here, like I'm, I'm, I'm not coming here and just show you all those pairs that played out as we wanted. I'm also showing you uh, those that uh, did not play uh, according you. Right, so the yen pairs, I've been speaking about this a year, that they are going to give us a drop to the downside. If you remember this pound yen chart, I've showed you this year, when we were around this area here, that we could have this one make a one more leg, and then it give us this drop to the downside here. You can refer to the videos, and you'll see that this has traded about uh, 867 pips from where we pointed was, uh, uh, when, 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 if you can refer to those videos, I was showing you this, that this was going to give us a last move here and then this drop to the downside so it has eventually traded about 867 pips move to the downside here same thing with your euro jpy we spoke about this one here you can refer to the previous videos a year i said this was going to give us a last move a year and we wanted to see a drop now it made a drop a year i know a lot of people i've seen people here when they saw this through a move they were expecting this but in our group i always talk about this it will do this through a move just to get a or look the other way around and all of a sudden it just gives us this drop here yeah, you'll see that your euro jpy has traded lower here uh, even though it gave us this three wave mover here but look at this it has traded lower about a thousand twenty uh, thousand twenty seven points uh, to uh, Keeps rather a thousand and twenty-seven pips move to the downside here, yeah, and we still expect that this is going to drop to the downside here. Yeah. Very nice uh, uh, reversal uh, uh, structure that we are seeing here. Uh, yeah. Merit impasse move to the upside here. Uh, yeah. The last leg to the upside here, yeah, making an impulsive move. That is a reversal uh, move. Once you get uh, 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 um, twelve is all about impasse correction, impasse. Once you hear trade uh, here like the L twelve try to talk about an impasse and an impasse, just know that they are referring to a reversal. So this looks good that it is going to trade to the downside. Yeah, US dollar JPY. I've showed this on that we've been expecting that this was going to drop and we're looking at this to have been ending diagonal and we wanted to this year to drop against this 151941 era here so we're looking at this to have made a move here as sharp as it is here a lot of people wanted to see this and i mentioned in our group that this might not be the case this from a year and then you see that US dollar JPY from that exactly it just have dropped about 820 pips move to the downside and this is still expected to drop. Believe me you when we were here I saw some uh, service providers that were expecting this and then a drop and then I told our members that this is going to make a, this is a sharp move here this is going to drop. Just from here alone to here, this has dropped about almost over a 400 pips move to the downside uh, Yeah, So you can go and check that one out. Uh, it is a nice one that played out there. Chief Yen, I've showed you this one week in, week out. That I was expecting that this was going to give us the last move here and this was going to drop to the downside. Now you'll see that your Chief Yen has already traded lower here, about 687 pips move to the downside and we're still expecting to see more move to the downside here. Yeah. 
Kerian again here, week in, week out. I've been showing you that this was going to be a, a structure here against this. This was the key level. That as long as this was still trading against this uh, invalidation level here, we were expecting to see that drop to the down uh, side. And you'll see that this has already traded about 650 pips move to the downside already on your Kerian. And we're still expecting to see more bearish move to the down uh, side. Right, so now let's jump into the charts and let's have a look what is expected uh, uh, here. So you'll see that gives you an idea. What we just uh, did now, it gives you an idea what do we look at in our uh, group. Remember that we've got these uh, live market analysis every day before London Open and we do our charts update London Open uh, before London Open and also when New York is opening, that's when we do our updates. Our moderators are always there available to assist you, especially on our Discord uh, group. Right, so uh, DXY, I might have not shown you this one, but I have been talking about this year that it will eventually drop. I've been talking about this year for week in, week out, that we are looking at this to be an A, B, and we're looking for this wave C to the downside here. Yeah. I expect that this can go and trade the hundred dollars a year. Uh, actually, I want to see this coming down somewhere around you, 95, 94 dollars before we can see a move to the upside. Yeah, so that's a bigger picture. Every time, if you are not sure what is happening at DXY, just come and check out this uh, video. But this should still drop to the downside. So obviously, we know that the market does not uh, 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 just go in a straight line. If we do see these pullbacks here, we're simply looking for more bearish move to the downside on the DXY. Euro US dollar here, not a surprise. I've shown you this one here, how we've made a move about 500 pips move to the upside a year. We are still anticipating that this is going to make a move to the upside. As much as this looks impulsive here, you could be just getting this three wave move against this swing low here, and then this just continues to move to the upside. If we do get that structure here, we will be looking for more bullish move to the upside. Pound US dollar have given you an idea that how far we want to see this one making a move to the upside a year. So we are still looking at this. Somebody uh, somebody might look at this and say it's a one, you're two here, you're three here, you're four four year, you will five. Uh, if that's the case, this needs to come and trade and take this year. If it can take this year, then we can anticipate this and then this will be our wave one. But still again being our wave two, and then we expect to see more bullish move to the upside. But for now, I've been simply looking at this year that it should make a move to the upside from here or alternatively a three wave move pull back against the swing low year, and then we'll be expecting to see more bullish move to the upside. Uh, US dollar chief, I've shown you this one here, uh, simply trading to the downside here. We have been looking at this one to have been a uh, wave one here this being our uh, wave two now we are simply looking at this if you look at this internally uh, this looks like a five wave move your one your two here your three here our uh, four our uh, wave five here so this might mean this might do a one two one two this could just be your wave one here in yellow uh, this being your wave one, your wave two here, and then this could just be your wave one in a lower degree here. Let us just finish here one here, and then we just get this as a wave two here against this swing high here, and then we still get this one to trade even lower for a three and a four and a five before we can talk about the wave three in this yellow degree here. But this still looks bearish. I'm not expecting to see that bigger correction here. I just want to see this drop all the way to the downside here. But if it does uh, give us this structure here, then we're simply looking for more selling opportunity on your US dollar uh, chief. Out of US dollar, I've shown you this one uh, here uh, several times in the past. Uh a few videos a year uh, that we have been looking at this made a move to the upside here three wave move pull back here we seem be looking for a move to the upside that is going to be related to this one here so every time it pulls back in a three wave structure here we seem be looking for more buying opportunity uh, to the upside on your Audi US dollar news then US dollar here I've given you a picture on this one here but again if you are not well aware why are we buying this we've been looking at this a move to the upside here three wave move to a downside that we've seen uh, here uh, this being our connector here so we simply looking for a move that is going to be related to this one so that's why every time this pull base net through move we simply looking for what a uh, buying opportunity to the up uh, side so uh, you have sort of cared uh, I should have shown you this one here again here. We had this one here. We had shot a uh, US dollar cat at the top uh, here because we were looking at this uh, because of the correlation. We were looking at the possibility that this could just trade all the way to the downside and even take this swing low uh, here. Now, why that swing low is because we have been talking about this that US dollar cat has 
started the move to the upside here. This being a, a wave one a here, and then this to have completed a three wave move, this being a wave two. Impulsively move to the upside, and then we're looking at this here to make a three wave move structure, and then this move to the upside here. Now it made this three wave move here, but it has invalidated the blue box here. Now we have that in mind that so it keeps on dropping to the downside. Then we could have had this three wave move here, a three wave move structure in the middle here, and then this still drop here. And then this becomes your W here, your wave X here, and then maybe this to be a wave Y before we can see a move to the upside. So that's why we showed this one here. But again, when it got around this area here, we also bought it a year because we were, exp we were selling it while we're still buying it because we wanted one of the trades to be invalidated. Obviously, we had offload some of the positions here when this was dropping into the error of a blue box, but we held on. Now it has eventually invalidated the one that we're looking for. A a, a, a move to the upside here. Now this raises the chance that this is very likely that it might come back and trade all the way to the downside here. Now if that's the case, this if it, this does pull back here, we're gonna be looking for that short move to the downside on your US dollar case. So again, this could just be a one, your two here, your three, four, a five a year, and then this just pull back in a three wave move. If it pull back in a three wave move structure here, then we know that we're gonna look for this uh, short uh, at least maybe come back and take this swing low here. Maybe that's when we can look for uh, the possibility of a move to the upside. Obviously, that must be the DXY to have also been confirming that it's ready for a move to the upside. Why do I also look at that? DXY is because they are put the DXY it is positively correlated to the US dollar uh, based uh, instruments right so US dollar JPY I just showed you this one we're simply waiting to see any pullbacks in 3711 swing a year if we do get something like this pullback in a three wave move then we're still be looking for a short move to the downside I've shown you how we've focused at uh, that one yeah pound yen the very same thing here yeah, uh, on the yen and pairs. We're simply looking for the pound yen yeah, to drop more lower here. Yeah. Does give us a throw move starter here. Yeah. We're simply looking for a bearish move to the downside. Maybe I should show you again here. Yeah. I know we've shared this one here yeah, yeah, a couple of times, but on the weekly time frame, we have been looking at this one here. Yeah. We have made a big drop to the downside, just this drop uh, here, made a three wave move to the upside uh, here, uh, and we have been looking at this one that it should drop big to the downside. This is a move that we are looking for on a pound a yen. So you can see that we've got a very big move to the downside here. So this is still nothing. This is still yet to drop a year. Now we are simply looking for this pullbacks a year. Then we're looking for a short. Just look at what happened around this area here. Look at this. If you look at this uh, on your pound yen, you might even be getting a similar structure to this one a uh, year. Uh, let me try and do this. I'm not a fan of this uh, here, but let me just uh, show you this uh, fractal uh, here. So we could be having something like this a year on your pound a year and that this might drop even something like this a year made a drop a year. So this might be a structure that you're going to see on your pound a year a year. So watch out for this fractal. It might be the one that we have been uh, looking for all uh, along. Right, so let's have a look at uh, Euro JPY. I've showed you again on this one here uh, the biggest move that we are expecting here. So now, if you look at this, this is yet to complete a five wave move right here, but already it has taken this swing low here. That tells us that we've got this reversal that is taking place here. So, what we could be having here this being your one, your two here, your three here, your four here, and then this does your wave five. If that's the case, we're going to be expecting to see a pullback, then we can look for uh, the biggest drop to the downside on your. Euro JPY again, chief yen a year. The same thing applies a year. We have been looking at this one that it should give us a big drop to the downside uh, here. So we have been looking at this one that it should uh, continue with the, a, a drop lower here. Now uh, we've been looking at the last legs here to be your one, two, three here with four or uh, with five. Now we're simply looking for this a year. If we take this a year, maybe pull back here. Against this swing high here, we're still looking for this bearish move to the downside on your chief uh, yen. But a very good looking here. Some uh, people might even come and look at this and say, oh, it formed a shoulder here. This is a head here. Come back here. Do this here. And then this is a right hand shoulder. And then they look at this here to be a head and shoulder. Then that might add more TA here. Yeah. Then we're going to be looking for uh, that big move to the uh, down uh, side. Same thing applies. Arikad yen. I've showed you this one here. This is still going to trade lower here. Okay. If US dollar K, you, you've seen this. I've showed you on the forecast that we've had that we've had Eurocad. 
we want to see euro care to complete a move to a downside and then a move to the upside yeah pound care to complete a move to a downside and then this move yeah us dollar care you show that it must still drop and then we see this move to the upside yeah now guess what this is dropping here. Yeah. It might not be dropping aggressive, but it's gonna do this. Once those other cat pairs, they say we are done, we wanna see a move to upside. And then this might just give us a very big drop to the downside. But other than that, we are simply waiting to see uh, this one here and see if it can give us a pullback. It might even do something like this. Made a move to the downside here. It might even do something like this here. If it does this, then it should be simply like this. Three wave move, three wave move lower here dropping a three wave move here and probably this might even be giving us a diagonal this is your one your two your three your four here your five here we have this as a diagonal here maybe give us a throw pull back and then even drop even more further to the down side but very good looking for a move to the downside and uh, news then yen uh, here uh, this does not look like it is going to make a move to the upside Rem remember past few weeks i showed you this that this was going to be the structure yeah three wave move three wave move to the upside yeah we wanted this to drop low and come around this swing low here before I move to the upside. But what it did instead, made this drop here and it made this five wave move to the upside here. Now, this is very likely that it, this is still going to come back and take this swing low here. This being your three wave move lower here. Your A here, your wave B is running flat and then this to have been your wave C uh, here. Then obviously this might drop in, it might drop impulsively, come at this swing low here, or it might even do a three wave move. Maybe do something like this here, and then still drop a lower here, come and take this low, doesn't have to, it might even do a running flat. And then we find out that this is your W here, your wave X here, this to be your wave Y, and then it make this move to the upper side. Because I still look for a move that is going to be related to this one here on your news then. Yeah, and that will be the same as well with uh, your. Uh, uh, um I'll read JPY. So looking at this one uh, here, that it might still drop and come back to around this swing low uh, here. Made a three wave move lower here, three wave move to the upside uh, here. So this could be a one or two here, your three here, or maybe give us one more like a three here, and then a wave four, uh wave five, then we have a three three five structure here. But this is very likely it might come and back and check this swing low uh, here before we see a major move to the up uh, side. Right, so let's look at the euro pairs. So euro already still expecting that this is going to drop to the downside here. Yeah. I know the last time I saw you guys, I was expecting that this was going to be the structure here. Yeah. Maybe something like this against this swing high, obviously, and then this drop here. Yeah. But instead of giving us that leg to the upside, this looked like it. This was all the creative strategy we were looking for here. Yeah. Now this has dropped right below this here. Yeah. Now we are simply waiting to see this. This might do this three wave move structure. Once you get that pull back, this could just be your wave one here in a lower degree. Then you get this wave two. Once you get that, that's when you can look for a short move to the downside on your Euro already here. Euro New Zealand, the very same thing here. We've looked at this one to have completed a three wave move structure. Not the kind of structure I was looking for here, but this looks as completed the three wave move structure here. One, your two here, your three here, your wave four. This looks like it's going to be a wave five, one more leg lower here before we can expect a pullback and then a continue machine lower now you want to see obviously this bigger correction here or uh, the short move to the downside on your uh, new zealand euro cat i've showed you this one here that we have uh, we have been looking at this a year to have made a nice big move to the upside here in a five wave move five wave move drop lower here three wave move to the upside three wave move lower here then this will have been a five wave move to the upside here 335 is our connector here this is how we are looking at this uh, wave a here uh, wave b here now this is the reason why we showed this because we're looking at this one two three four and wave five probably come somewhere here or beyond this point uh, here and then maybe that's when we can look for a move that is going to be related to this one simply this being your a here your wave a uh, b a uh, here that is formed by this a b c here then we get the biggest move to the up side so watch out for that one it might all be the trade that you need in 2020 f4 uh, once we get to complete that wave a uh, b you might want to just buy and hold on on your euro cat uh, well, i'm expecting a very big move to the upside uh, in 2024 right so euro chief this was an easy one uh, here we had a trade setup but did not show you this one uh, here but let me see if i can just uh, quickly pull this one uh, here 
uh, another trade uh, setup just to show you because this was a very 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 easy one uh, here i want to i want to show you why do i say it was the easiest uh, one uh, here now if you remember uh, this was a trade setup that i had uh, here for the members uh, here uh, last week again here we were looking at this that it should drop to the down uh, side but i'll show you why did i say this must drop uh, to the downside yeah now if you remember that other week we were looking at this move to the upside three wave move here we wanted to buy this for a move to the upside it invalidated the trade setup that we had and not just the trade setup it also came and take this swing low uh, here yeah. taking this swing low here yeah, was so it was uh, so obvious that this was going to drop because if it was to, if it wanted to confuse us what it would have done here never come to this swing low here still remain here once it was here this could have been a 50 50 thing that is what we're going to make a move to the upside uh, here because it did not come back to this swing low but it is so obvious and it, it gave us so easily uh, the money that it gave out here was so easy because it made this year take this swing low here and then all of a sudden it made this throw a move structure here so we got this one here around this sort of a blue box and we're still expecting that this is going to trade even more lower just for a five wave move before we can expect to see a move to the upside uh, there so that was a very uh, easy one a uh, year i saw some that were buying this a uh, year for a move to the upside obviously they might have profited with this a uh, year but i've been very cautious that this was just there to complete a three wave move structure this textbook setup three wave move to the upside three wave move lower year three wave move to the upside yeah bam we're expecting that this might even come back beyond this point here and continue to the downside here on your euro uh, chief right so there was a trade that we had there euro pound we simply we looking at this one here to have made this nice three wave move structure here three wave move to the upside here pull back in a three wave move three wave move to the upside here even though i wanted this into the blue box but did not touch the blue box i wanted to short this somewhere here but eventually it just uh, turned before it can get to the equal legs made an impulsively move now we're simply waiting to see these pullbacks and we're going to be looking for that move to the upside uh, on or to the downside rather on your euro a pound a pound pairs a year pound already uh, i've shared a video on this one here that i wanted to look for a short move that was relevant to this one a year i was looking at this year that it was going to give us a structure like this a year and this is the short that i wanted to take somewhere around this sort of a blue box but that did not materialize so what we've seen here now is that these have made uh, this triangle here this being your a b c here uh, with d here uh, with e now this is dropping lower here now this has been your wave a here uh wave b here is a triangle here now we're simply waiting to see this one here to drop all the way to the downside at least for a move that is going to be related to this one yeah guess what this is still very tradable to the downside here now we're simply waiting to see can we get pullbacks if we do get those pullbacks here something like this we're looking for a short one to the downside but there is a very big one that is coming you can always refer to that video once we get that big one here i will update you guys because i do believe that the pound pairs are going to give us a, a, a nice early move in the, in the following year here so i'm just referring to this this being your a b c d e a here so look out for this drop lower maybe come somewhere around this area here then we might be seeing a very big move that is related to this one uh, here so watch out for the pound pairs we might be seeing a very big move to the upside especially your pound audi and your pound new zealand pound new zealand same thing applies here i wanted to this year to play like this being a move to the downside here i wanted to see a structure like this here but it never played out now that we've got pound out to have take this swing low here same thing applies pound new zealand take this swing low here this is very that it is just going to continue like this until we get this one here to complete a through move structure that's when we can look for a move to the upside now this is still very terrible to the downside here until at least it gets to the equal legs of this that's when we might be looking for a big big one uh, to the upper uh, side uh, pound chief i've showed you this one several times that we've got this one here to have made a nice move to the upside a uh, year and then it completed this structure here made an impulsively move to the upside here and then this was the structure here w wave x wave y yeah look at the internal yeah they are all in threes one three one two three one two three blue box made 170 pips move to the upside of here and i've showed you this one that we have been expecting that this was going to make a move to the upside of here now look at this structure here. this looks complete 
three wave move lower here three wave move to the upside here a nice three wave move that we've seen here so this might be starting a move to the upside i'm simply looking at this being a w here your wave x this to be a wave y even if this does come back here i'll still be expecting that against this swing low here this should be giving us a move to the upside on your pound uh, chip but very good looking there there uh, cad uh, uh, pound cad i've been looking at this i've showed you this one several times might not be a surprise but i'm gonna show you another possibility again i've always wanted pound cat to do this three wave move lower here pull back in a three wave move here and i wanted this here to drop in a three wave move at least because uh, i'm looking at this to be correcting this cycle from this uh, yeah so this for me did not have the right uh, look but it's not all about the, uh, that this could just be a three way move that is done here and then this is ready for a move to the upside if that's the case that might mean this is an impulsively move this is a three way move lower here and then this might drop something like this never come back to this here or maybe be a 50 percent of this careful once we get to the 50 percent this might be it here so this might have been your wave a here your wave b a here and then this is your wave one two get a three four and the wave five of a wave c but i still prefer that this drop all the way here at least even if it means it drop impulsively here it doesn't have to be a three wave move three wave move here you've seen that in the mid here i've been looking at this one to be an 11 swing sequence here and i would love to see this one drop lower here at least come back to around this year but i'm very open uh, i'm trading with the um I'm thinking outside of the box uh, yeah, while I'm holding for this short that this might just uh, be a start of a move to the outside uh, like that. But again, I still favor that this drop even more to that down uh, side. Right, so enough about that. Cross pairs, I've showed you this one uh, here, uh, uh, especially uh, your Audi uh, K. Now, this is what I was referring to here, that an Audi K, that this might give us a move to the upside that is related to this one, a five wave move up. We have moved to a downside here. Yeah, this might be seeing a move to the upside here, yeah. unless, of course, if this start to drop, then maybe we might see one more leg up down here before we see a move to the upside. But I'm favoring that every time it pull back in this, we're looking for this move to the upside here. Yeah. Let me show you again on the four hour time frame what you could be having. Something I did point out when I was doing the trade to cap that we've seen this one here, made a nice three wave move to the downside uh, here, and then this is why we shot it here. Three wave move to the downside here. Now, this has made a three wave move to the upside here. Yeah. It can come down in a three wave move here, yeah, and then we form this here to be a WXAY. If it does this here, we'll still be looking for a big one to the upside on your Audi uh, cat. So, it's going to be a pass on the, on the cross pairs. I'm going to go into the uh, commodities uh, here. Let's have a look at gold uh, here. Now, gold is back around the $2,000 a year. I know a lot of people have been already uh, saying that gold was going to drop all the way to the downside. Yeah. Yeah, it can, but it still needs to uh, give us uh, some uh, levels or invalidate levels here. Now, we have been looking at this to be a one. One, two, one, two structure. Yeah. Now, I've been looking at this. I sort of told you this that uh, I expected this was going to give us this move to the upside here. Now, it was not a surprise. Uh, let me try and see. I don't think it should be too far for me to find this chart. But I have been looking at this here that this is going to be a three wave move structure here. And then this is going to eventually make a move to the upside. Bow came out here and bounced about uh, 600 points move to the upside here on gold. Now, with that being said, made a move to the upside. Now, I would be simply looking at this that against this swing low here, yeah, this might just be a move to the upside here yeah, on gold. Somebody might ask, does this mean gold is going all the way to the upside here? Yeah? It might still maybe do something like this. That's not a problem if it does this. This might be a move here. A three wave move structure might still be seen here, and then still this may be drop in the three wave move structure as long as it never comes to this point here. If it comes beyond this point here, this swing low here, then this might mean gold might even drop, come back to around these levels here before maybe we can see a move to the upside. So that will mean instead of this to have been a one, two, one, two, then this was just your A here, your wave B here, your wave C here, then this might have just been three wave move to a downside yeah then this might even come down in a three wave move a uh, 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 structure or even maybe like this being your one you get your 
your, 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 your two A here, you get your three here, your four here, your five here, and then maybe that's when we get this big move to outside. That is still very possible as uh, structural uh, here on gold. But for now, I favor that as long as we're still holding above this swing uh, low here, we should be seeing these pullbacks. So once you get a third we'll move pullback here against this here, we're simply looking for buying more opportunity to the upside on uh, gold. Right, so silver, the same thing applies here. I was simply waiting to see, can silver get to around this swing low here? It was not a surprise uh, that this uh, started to make a move to the upside. Actually, I had a trade set up here on silver. I wanted to buy a, a silver. Uh, let me show you this. This is the trade set up that we had on a silver here. I want. I was looking at silver. This that this to be a sharp through a move. I did not want to see silver going beyond this point here. It only missed the blue ball with a few points because it came somewhere here. Then from here it just bounced to the upside. Well, it bounced and came somewhere around this area here. But it just missed the blue box. So that blue that trade setup was never triggered. So that's why I never uh, talked about it uh, there. So. There was a very nice diversion that took place here. Yeah. So it was just a little bit of a move to come somewhere here and then we triggered a trade here. Yeah. But I've been trying to trade this against this swing low here. Yeah. Now, as long as this is still trading above this swing uh, low now, I'm gonna be looking at this. If it does give you this throw pullback, we're simply looking for a move to the upside. A take off this year will be very likely that gold as well will be taking the all time high and then we see a continuation move to the upside on both uh, instruments. Talk about a uh, plan platinum here platinum and silver they are positively correlated almost like 95 percent of the time now we've seen platinum we've spoken about it several times that platinum has only just confirmed a trend reversal here made a move to the upside that will pull back here we're simply looking for this one that it will eventually get to around these highs here on a platinum we should be getting platinum to trade back above a thousand dollars there Brand crude oil showed you last one year several times that we are going to see this one dropping to the downside uh, yeah so we have been dropping lower and lower ever since we had a trade set up somewhere around this area here brand crude has been trading lower here now we are simply looking for this made a move to the upside if this does this year throw pull back we're looking for a shot remember when we had this move to the upside we said we're looking for this year to complete a starter year we had a, a, a trade set up here but it missed a blue book with a few points and then this drop all the way to our downside now that we've pulled back here we again we're simply looking for a throw more structure then we will be looking for more selling opportunities to the downside on the brand crude oil natural gas i've showed you this one here as much as it was invalidated but the structure looks good here that this is very likely that it must start to make a move to the upside now we're just waiting to see this make a move to the upside you see that if you pull your trend line a uh, from this high here we are starting to trade back above it a uh, year now the more this starts to break out these swings it will be making this v-shape pattern if it can do this here pull back in a third wave move against this swing low here we're looking to buy natural gas for a big one to the up uh, side now let's have a look at the indices here just to go through them here spoken about it several times the indices they are looking bullish uh, yeah week in week out i come in here and i tell you the indices will eventually get to the all-time high okay i still expect that this is gonna make a move to the upside here yeah? we're simply waiting to see if we see these pullbacks we're simply buying this uh, here yeah. i've showed you several times the trade setup that we've had here yeah, on the indices almost across the board on the indices here we had a very nice trade setup uh, here so these are the trades that i'm referring to here we took this from the blue box uh, here maybe let me just do this with the indices here so we have been looking at this one that they should make a move to the upside from the blue box here they've done so now we're simply waiting to see this continue with the move to the upside pullbacks here if they do happen it's just a simply buying opportunity that's what i keep on singing to our members uh, here Dow Jones, same thing applies here. Yeah, we got this one from the blue box, and I did mention that we should get this one to the all time high. Where are we now? We've hit the all time high on your Dow Jones here. Yeah, I still expect that this should still continue with the big move to the upside here. Yeah. If it does give us this pullback, we're simply looking for a move to the upside. Uh, same thing applies here. Yeah, look at your SP 500. Spoken about this one here. Yeah, we got this one into the blue box, and we uh, spoke about this that we are looking for an all time high. We will eventually get there i still expect to see more big move to the upside here yeah. same thing applies with your dax here yeah. we wanted the all-time high dax went to the all-time high here yeah. made a nice throw move into the blue box now we've gotten back to the all-time again we still expecting to see the move to the upside here yeah. 
uh, same thing applies UK 100 we got a trade setup here and this has been very slow I was looking at this three wave move we're looking for a move to the upside this would be expected to get back to the all-time high as well just like the rest of the other uh, indices uh, here nifty uh, Nikki so this one here we had a blue box trade setup we're simply looking for this one uh, to be an ABC here we wanted this move to the upside yeah guess what we gap outside here of the blue box here was not a surprise we still expect to see more bullish move to the upside just like your nifty here showed you this one several times when we were here that we were looking for this blue box here not just that one alone we have spoken about this from this year this was our first trade setup when we got into this era of a blue box here yeah, this was the first one here yeah. we wanted this move to the upside another opportunity represented here yeah. we said we we're gonna look for the move to the upside this has played out inch perfectly here yeah, on your uh, the indices here uh, yeah. now let's have a look at uh, the cryptocurrencies here uh, yeah. your bitcoin we're still looking at this one that it should still continue the move to the upside nothing has changed here yeah. bitcoin looks like we are in the bull run that everybody has been waiting for here yeah. Now, we have been very cautious uh, here with our members. We knew, we've said this one, that between your 40K to the 50K range, there's going to be some noise that is going to take place uh, here. Okay? So you can just go and try and figure out why do we accept that there's going to be some noise uh, here. Now, we saw this year, a lot of people have been saying, oh, we are selling this uh, here. I said, I'm going to make a move to the upside uh, here. We still anticipate that. Bitcoin is going to give us a move to the upside uh, here. Even if it does drop, there is this still possibility here that this might have made three wave move to a downside uh, here. This could just be a three wave move here. Uh, yeah. Make a three wave move lower here. Yeah. Still again, we'll be simply looking at this W, your wave X here, this to be a wave Y, and then looking for a move to the upside. That's if it does. Other than that, this can just continue from here and make a move to the upside. I've shown you several times how we've been able to trade Bitcoin here, yeah, Ethereum, the same thing here. Yeah. We have been looking at this one that it should make a move to the upside from uh, here. Made this sharp three wave move to a downside here. Yeah? But again, it could even do something like this. Make a three wave move here. Uh, yeah? Drop in a three wave move here. Yeah? Guess what? Simple. W, X, Y. If this does happen, we're still looking for that bullish move to the upside. So do not look too short the indices uh, here. Your light corner here still looks good for a bullish move to the upside here. Yeah? We could even be having this one to be a running flat. Three wave move lower here. Yeah? Three wave move to the upside, made this drop here running flat. What comes after running flat? A very bullish move to the upside. So I would be expecting that this is gonna make a move to the upside from where it is a uh, yeah. The same thing applies with your ripple here. We have been looking at ripple that it should make a move to the upside, especially after this move from this swing low here. Made a move to the upside. So this might even do this, even if it does come down here. Maybe this being your throw move structure. We're simply waiting to see that one continue the move to the upside, but from where it is I expect this that it is going to give us that move to the up uh, side right guys from my side that's all what I wanted to share with uh, you please guys trade safe and responsible and once again guys thank you for participating and being part of uh, trading waves in the year 2023 we'll see you guys in the early uh, uh, early weeks of January in 2024 please enjoy your festive season and trade safe and responsible take care everybody Yes, and bye-bye.